Pakistan's missile modernization and integration of DF-17. Pakistan AES acquisition of the DF-17 hypersonic missile fits into its broader military modernization strategy aimed at maintaining credible deterrence against India, AES conventional and nuclear capabilities. Over the past two decades, Pakistan has significantly expanded its ballistic and cruise missile programs, including the Shaheen, Gauri and Babur series, alongside developing tactical nuclear weapons to offset India's conventional military superiority. The integration of the DF-17 missile system not only enhances Pakistan AS strike capabilities, but also symbolizes the deepening strategic partnership between Islamabad and Beijing. Reports indicate that alongside receiving the missile, Pakistan's military personnel are undergoing training in operating and maintaining hypersonic systems. While Pakistan's defense research organizations collaborate with Chinese experts to adapt the missile for Pakistan's unique operational environment. Hypersonic weapons like the DF-17 represent a quantum leap in Pakistan's military technology, providing a fast, highly evasive platform capable of striking key Indian military installations, command centers, and infrastructure with minimal warning. This disrupts India's ability to mount preemptive strikes and complicates its missile defense calculations. Potential Indian Responses and Countermeasures India, aware of the growing missile threat, has been investing heavily in missile defense technologies and offensive capabilities. In response to the DF-17's arrival in Pakistan's arsenal, India is expected to accelerate development and deployment of next-generation missile defense systems specifically designed to counter hypersonic threats. Some of the promising Indian projects include the Advanced Air Defense AAD systems and Ballistic Missile Defense BMD program, which seek to establish a multi-layered defense shield. However, current systems are mainly optimized for slower ballistic and cruise missiles, and hypersonic vehicles' speed and maneuverability make interception much harder. Moreover, India has been collaborating with Israel on developing integrated missile defense systems. Israel's advanced Iron Dome, David's Sling, and Arrow missile defense systems provide a multi-tiered shield against a variety of aerial threats. But the hypersonic challenge requires entirely new radar, tracking, and interception technologies that are still under development worldwide. To counter the DF-17 threat, India is likely to invest in early warning satellites, enhanced radar networks, and directed energy weapons, like laser interceptors, which could track and destroy hypersonic missiles. India's indigenous development of hypersonic cruise missiles and research on hypersonic glide vehicles also suggests an intention to achieve parity in missile technology. Israel's Strategic Calculus Israel's involvement in South Asia's defense landscape, particularly through its military cooperation with India, also faces a new dilemma. Israeli defense companies have supplied advanced missile defense and intelligence technology to India, and the spread of hypersonic missile technology complicates their role. While Israel is primarily focused on threats in the Middle East, the prospect of hypersonic weapons in South Asia forces it to rethink export controls, technology transfer policies, and joint development projects with India. Israeli defense analysts warn that hypersonic missiles reduce reaction times drastically, making it difficult for even advanced missile defense systems to perform effectively. Israel may respond by accelerating development of counter-hypersonic systems and offering cutting-edge surveillance and missile interception solutions to its partners. The increased threat perception could also lead Israel to strengthen intelligence sharing with India and the United States regarding hypersonic missile developments. Regional and Global Security Implications the deployment of hypersonic missiles in South Asia is emblematic of a global trend toward more advanced and difficult to counter weapons. Hypersonic weapons are viewed by military strategists worldwide as a destabilizing factor because they erode traditional deterrence models reliant on missile defense capabilities. For South Asia, the stakes are particularly high. 
The India-Pakistan conflict is one of the longest standing rivalries globally, with both countries possessing nuclear weapons and large conventional forces. The introduction of hypersonic missiles into this volatile equation raises the risks of rapid escalation and miscalculation. China AS role as a hypersonic missile supplier to Pakistan reflects its strategic intent to counterbalance India S rising power and assert influence over South Asia. It also raises questions about global non-proliferation regimes and the effectiveness of export controls on cutting-edge weaponry. The United States and its allies are closely monitoring these developments. The proliferation of hypersonic technology may prompt enhanced arms control efforts, including treaties specifically addressing hypersonic weapons. However, with multiple countries pursuing these technologies, the challenge of preventing an arms race is formidable. Conclusion Navigating a New Era of Missile Warfare China AJAS's gift of the DF-17 hypersonic missile to Pakistan signals the dawn of a new era in South Asian security and missile warfare. The hypersonic missile's speed, range and maneuverability offer Pakistan unprecedented strike capabilities that challenge India and Israel's existing defense architectures. For India and Israel, the imperative is clear accelerate the development of advanced missile defense systems capable of countering hypersonic threats and deepen strategic partnerships with global allies. For Pakistan, the DF-17 enhances its deterrence and military prestige but also heightens the risk of conflict escalation. Ultimately, this evolving missile landscape underscores the urgent need for renewed diplomatic engagement, confidence-building measures, and possibly new arms control frameworks to mitigate risks and preserve stability in a region prone to conflict. The DF-17 missile gift is not just a transfer of technology. It is a catalyst that could reshape South Asia's strategic future with global repercussions for defense policy and international security.